ball. Mikey, my ball. And my ball, Nick. Asia, my ball. Baby, I got a head full of hair, bitch. I saw this motherfucking wig. Small dick ass nigga, fat ass bitch. Who? Who a dirty ass hoe? What? I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with Pop the Balloon, especially since I run the licensed plumber saga. Thank you. You did me a favor. Thank you. You did me a favor as well. Why you ended up popping your balloon? Brianna, 26. My eyes are are up here baby are you looking at the tattoo? no I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms you know women i deal with they don't have hair on their don't arms. do too much hey i'm just being honest don't do queen. too much you know i i don't like that that's okay. all i was looking at you trying to say if i'm looking at particular body you just parts, wasn't looking at my not eyes what it is. No, i was looking I was at the hair on your and although the concept of those videos is to find love we all know for most of those youtubers it's about generating clips that can make them go viral and if the host is a black youtuber then my god you may be in for one hell of a ride and in today's video guys we might see someone that is more pitiful than iron the licensed plumber and i didn't know that was possible it's big leah t i'm back in the cut i just got one more thing to say this fat ass funny looking black ass bitch just Told me that I need to get on a treadmill. Bitch, fuck you and your we fat ass mama, your bitch. Nigga, look at your teeth. It look like somebody shot dice in them hoes. Look at your fake ass Jordans, you bitch. You bald. Bald? Who bald? Mikey, my ball? And my ball, Nick? AJ, my ball? Baby, I got a head full of hair, bitch. Outside of this motherfucking wig. Small dick ass nigga, fat ass bitch. You talking about me. He talking all this shit about me. But baby, you in the same weight class as me, bitch. I'm a thick ass bitch. I got fat ass and titties, ho. The fuck? I don't know who started disrespecting the other first because I couldn't find the entirety of the video but from what we heard the man said she needed to go on the treadmill and I don't think he said that because he got rejected we can still see he has a balloon in his hands I just think she wasn't his type could he have chosen better words could he have been more gentle obviously but like I said you know what those videos are about it's always about doing too much making a lot of noise looking like the craziest person on this planet but she could have reacted in a better way why do you feel the need to disrespect the person like that just say okay blah 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 you're talking about trend mill when we are both in the same way class end of the story you move on that would have been the ultimate clash but instead you decide to go ape shit and say bitch fuck you and your fat ass mama bitch nigga look at your teeth it look like somebody shot dice in them hoes look at your fake ass jordans bitch when you participate in those videos you need to keep in mind that people might not perceive you the same way you perceive yourself and they might make fun of you they might roast you roast them back but don't focus on it too long because honestly it just makes you a walking target you get on a fair you get on a fucking treadmill you broke ass nigga show me a fucking band bitch. If you get roasted and you bring bands in the discussion, this is the worst way you can admit defeat. Like, get the fuck out because when you participate in those shows, which is about finding someone that you find attractive physically and that could match your personality, and you start bringing bands because you want the person's type, you need to leave. Not everyone can go to the bank and pull out bands. I mean, this is just how life is. But your ass can get on the treadmill and lose some weight. If you don't want people to roast you on your weight, get on the fuck treadmill if you are actually comfortable with your weight then move on there's no need to let that comment eat you that badly because at the end of the day this is entertainment what those youtubers want from you is you going savage mode you insulting one another you showing the worst image of yourself to the world because they post the video it gets views it gets clipped it gets even more views and they make more money from it so if you decide to participate in those shows play the game like it's been designed but don't let it consume you I I wouldn't be surprised if the host asked certain candidates to say this, be like this, act like that, to make it more captivating. Show me a bear. Show me a bear. Says who? Says who? Says who? The fuck? This shit, this shit, this shit. Who? You. Who a dirty asshole? What? This is why guys I said it got worse and honestly 
this might be the worst candidate I've ever seen on a pop the balloon. This woman has been disrespecting the guy. Yeah, I know, he said get on the treadmill. But afterwards, she has been disrespecting the guy non-stop. She's been trying to demolish the guy because she took a hit and she just couldn't accept it. Like I said, don't focus on it, roast the guy a little bit, then move on. But she just couldn't let it go. She was like a starving dog, bro. And then she had to resort to violence because the guy said, you're a dirty ass hoe. I'm sorry, but if we had to compare everything you've said to oh you're a dirty ass hoe after insulting me for like what 3 seconds straight yeah I think he would be in his right to call you a dirty ass hoe and there's no reason to come and swing at someone just because he called you a dirty ass hoe you don't know the guy this guy could have knocked your shit on sight he could have turned you into a fucking vegetable with one punch one well placed punch and you be on a bed for the rest of your life but because you want to act like the bad bitch show to everyone oh you, you got those big ass tits you got this big ass you can swing too you're from the hood you're going to assault someone on camera you you gotta be fucking dumb you are truly lucky that this man did not respond to your hits that this man doesn't hit women because another man oh my god bro he would have waken up chris brizzy and off your big ass on sight and i don't care what he said prior to that because at any moment does it justify her hitting him like that at any moment i'm sorry but if you think it's deserved you need to get your head checked because reverse the rules and we know what would have happened we know how far this drama would have gone I'm telling you, some people haven't been hit enough in their lives because the guy said stop the violence and you're telling him to shut the fuck up. At some point, you need a reality check. That's truly what you need because right now you feel like you're entitled to everything. You are going viral for one of the worst things. This is going to be your digital footprint and all of this just because one person said you were overweight and probably in the worst possible way but still you may have fucked up your life for some bs dating show and honestly i have nothing against those videos i enjoy them sometimes but when i know the youtuber goes out of his way to take the worst people on this planet to go viral i'm like bro please just look at jubilee they are able to make this type of content entertaining without bringing mad niggas from our camp but that'll be all for today's video guys honestly there's a huge problem in the black youtube section i mean it's only a bunch of degenerate that would do anything for the views, clicks, and this is sad. Look at me, that's not what I do. I do some, not always thoughtful, but not some mad content, at least. Sometimes it's thoughtful, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's funny, depends. But it's a huge problem. Anyways, if you like the video, you know what to do subscribe if you like the content obviously like share and comment and let me know how you would have reacted if it were you i'm not gonna judge you because it's self-defense unless you say something outlandish but it's i want to know how y'all would have reacted in that type of situation but can we say this is a fatherless behavior 